Hey everyone, I'm Ruben Lara, creator of Marker Remap, and I want to quickly show you a really helpful application of Marker Remap toward retiming audio and specifically a voiceover in this animated ad spot. If you're already familiar with Marker Remap, you know that it applies expressions to the time remap field that allows a pre-comp to be retimed using split layer markers that point to correspondingly named timeline markers inside that pre-comp. I know that sounds like a mouthful, but let me show you what it looks like in practice. Here I have a pre-comp and we'll just go inside and this pre-comp only contains my master untimed audio mix from this voiceover. In this case, uh, the talented Jeff Johnston from Voices.com. I'll just play it here. Finding a hotel loan can be confusing, time consuming, and expensive. So as a use case scenario, I'll just zoom into this part of the timeline and we see these uh, four lines here. Our approved lenders have extensive hotel experience. That means quality term sheets, fast closings, and no surprises. So I had him record it without any major gaps in the audio, just straight through. But of course, when I'm animating it, I need to add a little bit of spacing between those lines. Well, I could split out this audio file into 20 or 30 different sentences and deal with 20 or 30 different layers in my master comp. But instead, I've marked out each phrase with split timeline markers and text that indicates what's being said in that phrase. After I apply marker remap to this pre-comp, as you can see here in the time remapping field, I can now use layer markers to re-edit this audio. So I'll just zoom into this little section here and play it. Our approved lenders have extensive hotel experience. That means quality term sheets, fast closings, and no surprises. So this makes it really easy to just move these pieces around and time it out to exactly what I need. That means quality term sheets, fast closings, and no surprises. So just a real easy way to retime these voiceover segments. One of the other nice things about this approach is I can always take this one audio layer and drop it down to wherever I'm working at that moment. So here's uh, further implementations of marker remap with these three poses where I have a looping pose where the ties and the hair uh, elements are just looping over and over and then the first one lands, the second one lands, and the third one lands. So by having that audio voiceover on just one layer that I can quickly move to any part, uh, any part in the stack within the project is super helpful. Now if you want to know an easy way to split out all of your audio into segments, stick around, I'll show you that next. Okay, we're just starting with a fresh composition here. And one obvious way of splitting out your audio is just by doing it manually right inside After Effects. So here is the WAV file I got from Jeff Johnston, and I'll just drag this in. We can add it to a new composition, and we can use Marker Remap to just go ahead and manually add these split layer uh, segments. So let's just listen to this real quick. Finding a hotel loan can be confusing, time consuming, and expensive. All right, so there's that spot right there from 0 to 119. So I'm just going to add a marker, and we'll just say finding a hotel loan. And I'll uh, give this a length of 120. That automatically gave me that. And expensive. Which type of loan is right for your business goal? So we'll just say here, which type of loan. Hit OK. Which type of loan is right for your business goals? And we can use Marker Remap's editing tools to just automatically set the out point there. And just open that up just a little bit. Business goals. Are you getting the lowest rate and the best terms of? Are you? Are you? Are, I'll say, are you getting? Are you getting the lowest rate and the best terms available? Pause there. Set out. So we can do this right inside After Effects, um, which can be a little more time consuming for sure. But there's an even easier way for using an audio editor that lets you export markers with your audio file. So let's just try this one more time here. And this time, uh, I'm just going to use Adobe Audition. And we'll load that up. Now, this works not only in the waveform editor, but also if you're uh, building a multi-track session, if you're kind of assembling lots of different audio pieces together. And we'll just go ahead and zoom in here and play. Finding a hotel loan can be confusing, time consuming. And let's just split this out into three. So we can clearly see finding a hotel loan can be Finding a hotel loan can be confusing. Finding a hotel. Okay, and once we mark a segment with a selection, all we have to do is hit M, and that automatically creates a marker range. So we'll say finding a hotel loan. We'll just click here. Finding a hotel loan can be 
I'm just say it can be just for our own reference here. And we'll do this part here. Time consuming. M time consuming. And expensive. M and expensive. Let's just do one more. Which type of loan is right for your business goals? M. Which type of loan? So we'll just do those for now. So you can see up here, we're already starting to build a series of marker ranges already labeled with uh, what's in there. So you would go ahead and just add those to your entire voiceover. Once that's done, we'll just go ahead and save this right back to the WAV file. If uh, we're working on a multi-track mixdown, we would say file export multi-track mixdown. But since I'm right here in the editor, I'm just working with this exact wave. We'll say save as. We'll save it right there into the Jeff Johnston folder, and we'll call this uh, read one markers. And we'll include markers and other metadata into this. Hit OK. All right, let's come back to our After Effects file. Let's just get rid of these two here. Delete. And we'll go ahead and add our newly exported marker segment. Pop that in. And as soon as we make a comp out of it, we see that it automatically comes in with split layer markers around those segments. Finding a hotel loan can be confusing, time consuming, and expensive. Which type of loan is right for your business goals? So now all we need to do is transfer these markers to the timeline uh, so we can use marker remap. So we'll select this and we'll say cut delete. We'll select all of the markers that we want to cut. We'll deselect everything. And in Marker Remap, if everything is deselected, it acts on the timeline. And we'll just click Paste. And now it's going to ask us which markers do we want to paste. We can select them all and paste. Or if we hover, it says Dialog Box to Paste Selected Markers, plus Alt is Paste and Replace All Markers. So I'm just going to hit, hit Alt and click Paste, and it automatically paste the markers in the exact same timings as, uh, as it was copied from. So now that we have our timeline markers set, we can now include this into a master comp and use a marker remap to retime these out. So let's go ahead and just drag this into our parent comp now. We'll just call this parent comp. Double click, make sure we're in there. So there is our voiceover uh, with our markers that have been brought in because they were already included on the timeline. And now all we need to do is enable retiming. That automatically adds the expression to the time remap field. And now we're ready to go ahead and remap these. Okay, now I can just come in here and start retiming these segments. Now the way After Effects is, if there's a really close area where markers are, it's a little bit hard to grab. So you can continue to use the marker remap panel to scoot these over one at a time or scoot everything after the current indicator. So if I just use these uh, shift next markers and I click one at a time, oh, make sure I click that layer, and we'll click, 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 it's going to start scooting down that marker forward. If we hit shift, it's gonna do 10 at a time. And if we click alt, it's only gonna do the next one. So a real easy way to start managing these markers, again, I'm, I'm pressing down uh, the alt key and it's just doing the next one, or if I don't press anything, it's doing all successive ones. I can also specify you know, the next one, two, or three, or how many you want as well. So at this point, it's a real easy process to just uh, retime this. Finding a hotel loan can be confusing, time consuming, and expensive. Which type of loan is right for your business goals? So the reason these automatically appeared onto the pre-comp is because this pre-comp already had existing timeline markers inside of it. But if we ended up uh, making changes to the timeline markers later or adding them after we included them in the parent comp and these did not come in with anything, so I'm just going to alt cut delete that deletes everything, we can always bring these in one at a time. Let's say we had like a hundred segments on this voiceover and we just didn't want to bring them all in at once. Well, we can bring them in one at a time as well. So we'll select the pre-comp and we'll just say at. This will give us a dialog box with all the existing markers and we can just bring in each phrase as we move along. All right, I hope that's helpful. I'd love to hear how you are using Marker Remap to speed up your productions. Thanks for watching.